going on everyone today we'll start to our like normal we're heading to one of our disconnectables and check the upkeep this will be the same as in the other two disconnectables as well as giving you three total disconnectable tcs for the vendetta heading on out if your main tc gets raided if you need to replace it all you need to do is put a twig foundation with a twig roof to disconnect and then to reconnect after placing your main TC, just use two triangle frames and upgrade them to your desired grade. Make sure you do that to the other two as well before placing your main TC. Come into your gatehouse, you're met with a peak looking out. As well as you have some peaks looking out to the left and to the right of the compound that gives you great visibility. Going deeper into our gatehouse, you're met with some shotgun traps to prevent people going deep as well as some drop box storage behind this door. So the right or to the left is the same path. We'll go left as you're met with some early game Patricos that I have windowed off now that we have the funnel wall built. I recommend one of these off once you have this built as this will prevent raiders from being able to use this against you. Going in, we're met with a shotgun trap to our left and to our right with a flame trap to slow us down, as well as a door raiders will have to go through to go further. Once that door is deleted, they do have to deal with a turret that's two to three fences away before they can even try to destroy the turret. As you see, there's shotgun traps in here as well that they would have to destroy. Coming to our left, you're met with another quick turret right here, as well as this flame trap to your left. These turrets should also be able to see you for a little bit over here. Compound is sectioned off with these gates all the way around to slow down raiders. As well as you see, you've got great visibility through turrets for your furnace, for your furnace wall. So raiders would either have to decide to go through your furnace wall, which is the cheapest option, or go up on top of your funnel wall or through the funnel wall. So coming into our bedrooms and our funnel wall, so you met with some great Patricos here. Gives you great visibility and great angles, as well as once the furnaces are destroyed, it gives you great angles outside of compound. Do you get some situational patricos here, catching people coming out of the funnel wall? As well as you have peaks looking into the funnel wall. Come into our center. As you can see, even in this point right here. You are met with two turrets that you would have to go through two chain links to even be able to destroy the turrets. Coming through top, you have some peaks looking into your funnel wall. Um, kind of like a little head glitch for them. You can see their heads coming through your funnel wall. This peak right here is a little situational, but if you do have opportunity to pop some heads, you know, you have that. And here you have another bedroom peaks looking outside of compound as well as some breach peaks you get some breach peaks through here as well as some peaks through compound if walls are destroyed also you do have great angles on top of your funnel wall if they do happen to blow the barricades and try to take control over the funnel wall All right, heading into our main base, we'll go into our outer shell, which you do have plenty of angles looking towards your front of this wall, as well as your funnel wall. On three sides, you do have quick shoots looking up, and we'll take a look at those later. These will take you all the way up the shooting floor. Like my other two bases, this does have an extra wall to loot, which gives you some paths are four wall to loot, some are three walls to loot. Again, this is pretty strong. Going through a single door airlock, we're met into our starter unit. You see you have plenty of box storage, as well as some early game battery you can place, or you could choose to place some small furnaces underneath your hop up. This is where your TC is, and this will be your upkeep of main base when it's fully upgraded. Heading back out, you can see, unlike most circle bases, Raiders usually early game rain, and because they know they're wide open in the middle with loot rooms all on the side, this allows you to have peaks standing up as well as crouching 
so you can have one teammate standing up with the peak and one crouching and it just will slow down raiders and they will not expect this in a circle footprint heading on up we met with our tier three in a small box as well as heading into our open core so as you can see you have turret coverage throughout and they have to go through one chain link fence to be able to go through i do not have turrets up in the ramps anymore as i built this base before the turret update and i felt like the turrets were stronger in this position here i do have in the build video if you want to add turrets on switches you are able to have turrets up top for your ramp peaks so as you see you have plenty of box storage up top or in your open core excuse me as well as you have three hidden batteries in behind that are honeycombed as well as some hidden shotgun traps you also have some hidden boxes underneath you can lock and place some loot that raiders probably would miss so coming in here to your bedrooms as you see you do have a locker back here as well So each three of these armored doors is your prop up to your shooting floor. So you see you're met with some peaks looking into shooting floor as well as you have these peaks. If either of this wall gets destroyed behind or for early game before you build your wide gaps, you get some really good, nice Patricos looking out of compound. Really good for early game defenses. Come in here, you met with some more beds as well as some lockers. And you have your peaks looking back into your open core. Coming back down, I will show you real quick. If by chance you are getting early game raided without turret coverage, or if they destroy your turrets by chance, you can seal this off and upgrade this to wood or stone, whatever you like, to seal off those peaks so they are not able to use them. Heading onto your shooting floor. See, so you have great peaks looking into your furnace wall. They decide to go this path. So let's show you some angles you can get right through here. Looking outside. Looking on top of your funnel wall, if they happen to take control of that instead. As well as looking down into compound. Do have great peaks looking into the funnel itself on both sides just great angles all the way around so heading on onto a roof you do have some couple more peaks right through here you can see you do have some roof peaks through here as well as coming up to your metal one, you do get some roof peaks up here. All right, heading onto our roof. So you met with three turrets. So with the turret update, we're only allowed to have 12. So I have three on roof, three in open core and six in compound. I do have in the build video, different options for turret placement. If you do want to add more turrets and put them on switches, as I know you can cut more turrets on and cut less turrets off, whatever you prefer. So I'll just show you some different angles with these peaks. I like to use my roofs. Give you just different situational angles. It's really good. The Raiders will not be expecting. They hop up to your funnel wall. Do you have some angles looking out as well as down? Plenty of different angles. Hanging up top, this is where our bedrooms are, as well as another opportunity to place three batteries up top instead of having three batteries into your open core, as you do not need more than three batteries anymore. This will be your bedroom response. As you see, you get plenty of peaks looking out as kind of some inside compound, more stand peaks than anything. So if you want to get down for like your quick shoots, all you have to do, 
on one of these ramps. Look to your left and you get a Spider-Man down. Just hold the forward, your W key, and you'll go all the way down without taking any damage. All right, well, that is the Mendetta. Let's get on to the build phase. build phase I just will let you know that I do have different options you do not have to do this funnel wall I do have a funnel wall option a battlement ring option if you're still interested in that as well as just a simple what I like to use for weekly servers just one simple gatehouse and just call it a day so look into the timestamps and you can check out which one that you prefer to use All right, to get your starter down, pretty simple. So just do a one by one. Triangle, square, three triangles, square, two triangles here. Little door frame here for your doors. This wall will be wood and we'll have to hatch it out later as well as this wall will be the same. It needs to be wood and we'll hatch that out later. The rest of this can be completely sealed in. Cap everything. Place your double doors. Like so. Don't forget your, your T seat. Just like so. This will be your starter. So to outfit this, we can do a four, four box loot room here. We have to go put a half wall in the center. We'll build up here. You can fit a twig on the outside of the wall and then you can come around and do the same thing here. Just when you go back outside, make sure you delete that twig build up and you're good to go. So you just want to come back up here, finish your four box loot room, your shelf, place your double door. This right here is going to be another loot room. This will be an eight box loot room. Or if you want to leave one side open for now, you can fit some furnaces. Let's show you what that looks like. There's some furnaces here. And then you can do make this a six box loot room instead. Again, I know there's other tricks and you can make more boxes fit. You know, whatever you prefer to do, you can do that. Don't feel like you have to follow me step by step. Let's place your double door here. And we'll place our tier two and tier one here. And of course, don't forget to bag everybody. So, as well as face pumps allows you to place two boxes under the small bench now, or under the tier two workbench now. So you can do that. Like so. Expand the rest of the double door frames. Once you get garage doors, you know, of course, place them. Starter alone, if you look to left of the screen, this is the cost of everything to get the starter down. So around 8K stone, around 7K wood, just to include the TC. So this is what the starter looks like. We want to do we don't want to be here long because we're vulnerable with the wood walls so as soon as we can farm up another extra 10k stone what we want to do is we want to come in the middle fill this in with triangles and you want to do three square foundations one two three building the gaps of triangle foundations and looking out the door coming out this is going to be your airlock so do triangle your single frames here
And you want to wall this completely in, like so. Then seal in your ceilings, like this. Now coming to the middle, you want to leave this one open for now. You want to use twig buildup, like so. Come in here behind you, you want to do two half walls and cap it. The double door frame on the outside, put a double door. Good to go. So you want to delete the half wall build up on twig. Then you can upgrade this one to stone. Place your window. You can pick up these doors for now. Craft some machetes and you want to machete out this wall as well as this wall. So here, this is going to be our battery storage. So I like to place just a window here. If you want, you can leave this twig or wood. Depends on what battery. If you need a large battery, you can put it while standing on top. If you need a medium battery, you will need to delete this before you can place your medium battery in here. It's up to you, however you want to do it. For me, I would just leave it wood, make it a four to six box loot room. Once I get batteries, I decide what I need to do then. There's a double door frame. The double doors you picked up, you'll place one here. This is going to be another eight box loot room. Like so. Place your other double door here. Then you want to craft one more double door and place it here. Top up is pretty vulnerable, so as soon as you can get a tier two down, at least craft one garage door for here, just to keep this area a little safe so it's not just four satchels to top down you. So this is what it looks like when your whole starter is completely done to the left. This is what the cost would be. Send another extra 10K stone and you have your starter completely done. So next thing we want to do is we want to make this starter a little bit stronger. It's going to go around the whole vase and just honeycomb it. Top. We can go around and spam your walls all the way around. Just like so. Sealing everything up top. At this time, I would upgrade everything to metal. So after you get done honeycomb your base, you want to upgrade the metal up top as well as your roof at entrance. I'm going to wall this in like so. Seal the top. Take this door out. Place yourself a garage door. Alright, now that you got your starter completely upgraded and built, we are going to want to get your externals down as well as compound down as fast as possible as this is a circle base so people will automatically assume that you are a big group and potentially try to early game raid you so we want to try to prevent griefing and early game raiding as fast as possible so what we want to do is come up top you'll see the squares on each side so each side's going to have like their own y gap so we have three external tcs so you locate your front door, which is right here. So this is going to be your first external. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip to this one right here, hop down, do a square and two triangles like so, and hop back up to the square. You want to skip this one, come to this one, 
and do the same thing. Hop down. Do a square, two triangles, and then one more time. So we're going to skip one square, go to the next one, and this one's going to be your last rear square triangle triangle build out, like so. All right, at this point, this base does have three bunkers, just like the series. So if we want to build those out, I'll show you how to do that right now. I will be using three-sided symmetry. So just do the build out on the same three sides and you should be fine. Um, so all you have to do is place two triangles like so. And then you wanna go out nine triangles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cap it with a square foundation. You wanna look down and you wanna build it back slowly as you walk. Delete this square and two triangles to your left and look down and slowly let it just pop up, place it, and then delete your build up. Then you want to do the same thing on this side. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Place your square. Then go back with squares. Delete this triangle in two squares. Look down. It pops up, place it, delete this build up. Now that you have that build up, what you want to do is spam this with half walls. You can go ahead and upgrade these. Then you want to place your boxes down. Make sure you lock these boxes. You may have to rotate one box to make sure the co-lock goes on the side that you can reach. So it snaps. Take your hammer so it's going this way. So you know you got this one placed right. Come back, do the same thing on this side. So it snaps. Take a look, it's going the same way. So you know you've done it right. You can upgrade these, double check. There you go. Then you can upgrade these to HQM. So you don't need the builder skins to be able to do these. You can do these without the builder skins and you are able to upgrade these to HQM, the whole thing, unlike the building skins, which you're not able to. So once you have that complete, delete these two twig build outs. If you do leave these HQM, this will look suspicious, but it will also be 15 rockets per bunker. And they're taking a chance of raiding your bunkers versus your base. So that's 45 rockets that they're taking a risk on that they may, may not have loot in. Connect these bunkers to main base, just do two double double frames, and then they're connected. Like my last video, if you don't want to do bunkers, you do not have to do bunkers. But if you do want some bunkers, they are available to you. So doing the externals in your TCs, as you can see, there's three slots left where you can place your externals. So in the exact middle between each bunker, what you want to do is you want to come out. It doesn't really matter which side you can do the left or the right side. It doesn't really matter. So you just want to do a square triangle, square triangle, and then three squares, cap up the triangle, delete the rest of the buildup, come back with a half moon, two triangles, two squares, triangle to your left that you will upgrade, delete this buildup, do a triangle, so then you wanna do a square triangle, and then two more triangles, delete the triangle and square buildup, same thing on this side, square, triangle, and two triangles. Delete the triangle square build up. To the base, you want to do a double door frame, window, and then two half holes on each side. This will connect the Y gap together for the main T or for external TC. To external TC, you just want to do a square, triangle, delete the square, three squares out, circle all the way around, square, half moon triangles and then right here what I like to do place my TC in here see a door so if you want to connect these what you want to do is you want to build two half walls double door frame here and then just do the build out back just like so delete your build up and then now you have it connected to your base. 
So you can leave these TCs exposed now, or if you have the extra materials, you can go ahead and seal these in, like so. I like to place a garage door in between them. And then once I get an old armor door, I like to place an armor door on the single, just like so. All right, to connect this to here, you just wanna place two double door frames like so. And now this is connected and will take upkeep. All right, next step I would like to do before I do my compound and my gatehouses is we'll let it kind of seal this a little bit. So you're gonna do two windows, two roof ramps, same thing on here. Just like so. Place your double door frames here. Here you can place stone barricades, furnaces, or you can place twig or wood build up here just to help you traverse a little bit easier. It's up to you however you want to do it. For now, we'll use a uh, wood build up. So you just wanna place two walls like so. Seal this in, seal this in, just like so. All right, now that you got this done, this is what it looks like. It just gives you just a little bit of extra protection, some defendability while you get your compound down. So now that we got that done, we're gonna build our gatehouses real quick. So there are three again. I will be using three-sided symmetry to do all three the same. Feel free to use whatever gatehouse you like. Um, this is just the gatehouse that I like to use, and if we get the battlement ring with this gatehouse as well. So basically we just do two squares like so. Windows, square, three triangles two walls here, two double door frames, triangle foundations, two walls with half walls, do your windows, seal this in, just like so, do a ramp to build up, half walls all the way around, your ramps, windows, cap everything off, there you go. So next we want to do is get our compound down. So I like to do the build out for the battlement ring. All right, I will be building this out of wood like I normally do. I usually do not do this as stone until after main base is completely done. Um, you do not have to do this if you just want to place compound and you're doing your own gatehouses, feel free to just do that. Um, but if you want to do the battlement ring, this is how you do it. So you're going to do a triangle, square, triangle, square, six triangles, square in the middle, square to the left, one more square, triangle, we add a square below the triangle, and we fill in these gaps of triangles. Then I'll show you one more time on this side. Instead, I am using three-sided symmetry, so it's going to be the same on all sides. So I'm going to do triangle, square, triangle, square, six triangles, square, square, one more square, triangle, one square here with the triangle, delete this. Just like so. All right, now that you got your build out done, now we can start placing our compound walls. So pretty easy. Same thing as the series. We're going to come to this corner. Look to the gatehouse and pull till it stops. Place it, look to your left and pull until it stops. Place it, come to the middle of this triangle here. Look to your left, pull into it stops. Place it, same thing, pull into it stops and place it. By that time you wanna come on this side, start doing the same thing. So come to your square, to the point, look to your right, pull it till it stops, place. Look to your left and pull till it stops. Place. Come to your middle triangle. Look to your right. Pull until it stops in place. And then pull till it stops. Again, like so. Place. And then come between the two square foundations. And push this one as far as it'll go, like so. 
Same thing on this side. Push this as far as it'll go. So it stops. So now what you want to do is you want to bring this one in kind of like 45 degrees like so. Place it and then this should allow you to place your perfect compound every time. So this is what it looks like. I'll show you how to do these barricades. So you just want to do three wood floors, two triangles, get your barricade. So basically the back left of the barricade is going to go to the back left of the triangle. The back right of the barricade is going to kind of go in the middle of the triangle. Like so. This will be the opposite. So now we'll be back right of the barricade to the back right of the triangle, back left of the barricade to the middle of the triangle. Just like that. Delete your twig build up. And these are pretty simple. Just place two on the top. Like so. All right, now that you got this done, there's this one step that you can choose to do. So between each bunker that you see, we'll have no building block as this is a three TC base. So what you want to do, build plant. So once you see this build stuff go away, just keep walking. Then it goes away. Place your triangle, upgrade it. What I like to do here is I like to just place one frame here, build a twig build up here, hop up, build this build out right here. Go ahead and upgrade this. You place your TC here with a window. Once you have your window, as you can see, it's really, really cheap to build and really cheap upkeep. Then you can delete your toy build up. Once you get the metal, just make sure that you upgrade these found this foundation here and then, then underneath to prevent from soft siding and then you're good to go. We'll be building the funnel wall next. I will be using three sides symmetry, so it will be the same on all three sides, but we'll do this twice as there will be six sides to this. So pretty simple. We just want to do one, two triangles, the square triangle to your right, then another triangle, and then seal this wall is in with the remaining six triangles. And delete this square Then come in out. We'll place a square and a triangle. And then right here, what you want to do is place two walls so it's all connected. So one more time, we'll do triangle, triangle, square, triangles all the way around like so. And then looking out, not towards the base, but away from the base, we have to delete that square first. You'll place a square and a triangle on the inside. And then you place your wall here and here to connect the two. This is what it looks like. So once you have this complete, you can go ahead and start placing your compound down. So there's no special build out like with the battlement ring. You're just gonna kinda have to eyeball it as you go. I like to do the kind of like a zigzag pattern. For me, it just makes it a little bit easier to place compound walls instead of just the traditional, just going straight across. Gives you just like a little bit of room for uh, for mistakes. So I should be able to place two out and then two in or one in the middle. You know, just see how kind of I messed up. So at least I know I can place two going in and it'll be fine. There's your compound. Okay, so if you're on a weekly server, more often than none, you're not gonna really have time unless you're getting a lot of raids in or you have some dedicated farmers in a bigger group to be able to do the battlement ring. And more likely you'll probably be able to do the funnel wall, but let's just say that you just don't care about either one. You just wanna put a gatehouse down and call it a day. Um, just going to do the same, same simple build out. 
We're gonna go three squares, six triangles, square on each side like so. Double door frame with two windows. Little door frame here and here. Seal this in. And you can leave this for now until you get more mats, or if you have enough mats, you just go ahead and place this as well. Then build out your externals. Square, one half moon, three triangles. Place your TC. That's how I usually leave it. I'll take some barricades, like normal. Place some right here. Just like so. And you can wall this in if you want it a little bit more expensive. Give yourself some Petrico Peaks. You can do this in if you'd like. Again, you do not have to. I know doing these fancy little things can be a little bit expensive, so feel free to do whatever you prefer to do. So once you have that, you have some peaks, then you can just go ahead and place your compound down. Just like I do on the funnel wall, I don't have really no secret build out like I do with the battlement ring to help you like place it every time. So one thing I can tip I can give you is just kind of like placing kinda like a little zigzag pattern. Just gives me a little bit more room for mistakes. It's like so. Real simple, real cheap. All right, to start a second floor, all you wanna do is just hop down, go ahead and honeycomb in the whole inside, like so. Like this. Next thing you wanna do is each square is gonna be a loot room, so what you basically wanna do is do a twig build up of a half wall, a triangle, delete your half wall, and upgrade your triangle. Just like so. One more time here. All right, once you got that done, you just want to wall everything in. Just like so. So each of these squares is going to be a loot room. So starting with the first build out, we'll put a battery here. So put a window here. Then we'll do one, two walls here, one here. We want to do a battery here. Same thing again, one, two, and then one here. And then this will be your third battery here. And you can seal this in like so. This is where your loot room and stuff's gonna be. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna seal kinda of like the inside, not where the honeycomb is. So just go around, seal this in like so. Just like that. All right, so next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have three bedrooms. So we'll go from where this is, this is gonna be your first bedroom. So all you have to do is turn around where your hop up is. I'm gonna wall this in like so. The double door frame here, seal this in. Then you wanna place a half wall in another triangle and then put the double door frame. And like I said, it's gonna be three sided symmetry. So you're gonna do skip one square and move to the next. So this one will not be your bedroom, but this one will. So we'll seal this one in. Same thing, put your half wall in triangle. Seal that off. So again, we'll skip this square, move on to the next. This will be your third and last bedroom on this floor. Do your half wall. Don't forget your half wall build up. And then seal it completely like so. So the rest of these are gonna be your shoots going up top. So what we wanna do, so I'll be using symmetry. So for these three suits, it's gonna be the same on all three sides. So basically what you want to do is you want to seal these completely in, cap them, 
the center one you want to seal all the way in like so then you want to do two half walls and two low walls same thing on this side two half walls two low walls half wall on the bottom the window on top just like so again it's going to be the same on the other three sides go ahead and place your double door frame so here i like to use the adobe or the stone as your hitbox for your bedrooms goes a little bit smaller it makes it a little bit easier to place your beds in here later but if you do not have it you're still able to do so so coming up top you want to go ahead where your ramps are right here place a square then you'll place two triangle frames like so and two triangles on the outside half wall here in here double door frame all the way around like so then you'll place two half walls and then two full walls above so go ahead and seal this in just like that so what I like to do too is I like put two half walls here then you're able to seal kind of conceal your shotgun traps make it a little bit harder to see and you can do that on all sides just like so all right again we're still using symmetry so what you want to do is you want to place your triangle above you like so come back over here we want to do half wall all this in and seal it then place one two full walls seal that then you go ahead and seal this all right because of the new update i built this base before the update and i had to change some things but if you don't want to add switches like different switches to add more turrets you can get rid of this all you have to do is just don't have any of this build up that we just built delete all this included in the frame and all you have to do is place one wall just like that and you can leave it like this if you sealed this you can go ahead and place your ramp you're probably gonna have to come back up top right here then you can place your ramp and then finish sealing in the floor like so and look above and then you can go ahead and seal you completely in place your double doors and now you're basically sealed so how we want to outfit this is you want to do a half wall on each side where the turrets go then you place your double door frame i like to do my fence first as in doing so you're able to place your turret a little farther forward and gives you a little bit better angles so to do the top one, what I like to do is place a box here, pop on top, and you should be able to reach it like so. Then you put your other double door frame there. And then I like to place garage doors here. If you wanna place, you know, whatever you wanna place, you can. I like to do garage doors on each corner like this. And then here, I like to do an armor door just to make it a little bit beefier. So basically what I like to do is you just go ahead and place your half walls like so. Place your ramps on all corners like this. Make sure they're lowered. Oh. Just like that. Place your double door frames. And if you have your garage doors, go ahead and replace place these. But if you don't, you still are able to place them. Um, but also what I like to do too is kind of put like a small box here locked. Um, just kind of mix, like put your boom here when you get it off. Um, if the Raiders aren't really paying attention, they more than likely will skip over this. So once you have that and it's locked, just go ahead and seal this completely in like so. Go ahead and place your triangles all the way around. And then you can go ahead and place these boxes. I like to place it right where that ramp is, where the beam goes across. So I like to place my box like right here, going across. So basically what this, putting it right here does is it allows you not to fall in, but also allows you just kind of scoot in here and loot the small box. So you can go ahead and place all these boxes all on the bottom, all the way around. And then place the box only on the top 
left. And I'll show you why you don't want to do it on the right in a minute. There should be plenty of storage to get you by until you're able to completely seal it. So the reason why you don't want to place them in is for one of two reasons. This one is so you can go ahead and place your battery in here. You can place your branches on this backside as well as I like to put my switch right here just so you're able to still peek this corner and flip the switch on and off. So you can go ahead and seal this with windows once you have everything wired up and it in doing so, this will keep raiders from being able to shoot out your electrical branches. They would have to four rocket and then destroy your battery to do so. Other reason why you don't want to put your left box on first or your right box on, excuse me, is because you're going to have to come in here to place your garage doors. You are unable to place them from out here. So it enables, it allows you, so it allows you to place them inside like this. Once you have all your garage doors places, then of course you can go ahead and place your boxes. You always can just place a small box if you want to. So you can reach in there later and do your wiring as well. It makes life a little easier. Totally, totally up to you how you want to do it. Now coming to where your bedrooms go. This is kind of the most pain in the butt part about the whole build. It's basically when you come in here, you're gonna to have to F1 every time you place a locker but luckily it's only three, so it's really not that bad. Um, it's the only way to be able to place these lockers. So make sure your inventory is empty and you'll come in here and place the locker and then you will F1 as you will not be able to get out. Then you can go ahead and place your turret, your chain link, your chain link coming in like so, as well as your beds. And I like to place armor doors here, like so, just to make it a little bit stronger. All right, this is what the base looks like so far. So next we wanna do our Y gaps. Again, it's gonna be the same on all three sides. I'll use three-sided symmetry. So to do your white gaps, pretty simple. Just want to do one and a half walls with a window above. Then go three double frames in the middle. So I like to do this twig build up right here so I can hop over here. Then you can do a place one and a half walls like so. And then two double door frames. Hop back over here, delete your twig build up. Do it on this side. Place one and a half walls, then your double door frames. Hop back down, let your twig build up, and now you got your white gap done. Again, it's going to be the same on all three sides. So, come into where bunkers or quick shoots will be. Same simple build out. You just want to do one and a half on the back side, then you just want to do one full wall and one window wall. You can go ahead and get your ladder hatch in here. So what I like to do, I like to do the opposite of where the hatch goes. So this hatch here, so I'll just come up here and do the hatch on that side. So. There you go, pretty simple. Now you have your shoots done. All right, so next step we're gonna do is we wanna finish our shooting floor. So pretty simple where your bunkers are. You just wanna place two squares here. Then going around, you wanna make sure these connect so you get these window peaks. Same thing, come back over here. Next to your bunker, it's gonna be the same thing. Not going to the windows. These will go to the windows. The ones that aren't to the windows will go to the base, and then these will go to the windows. All right, now that we have the floor filled out, we want to finish our Y gaps. So we'll come over here, place our windows, 
on all sides. I will be using three side symmetry again. This will be the same on all three sides. So on these two, on the left and right side, you can go ahead and place your triangles, triangle roofs, like so. So here you have to either have these twigged or upgrade these to metal. Then you are able to place your triangle roofs. Coming to where your bunkers are, basically all we have to do is place a window here window up top so not gonna be tricky kind of gotta look down and then you can place half wall on top you're gonna place your two double frames like so just like that off this door you want to place a triangle in two double door frames and then you can hop up here place a double door frame here and a single door on your right then place two squares then you can hop on your roof cap this triangle just make sure that each single frame, or like the single door frame, is peeking towards the double door. Like how this double door is peeking to that single frame. Just make sure you do that. Next, you just want to fill in the rest of the roof, like so. Here, you just want to place two low walls and then cap the top like this. Give you your roof peaks. Coming into where your bunker slots go, you want to seal these off like so, and then place your roofs underneath like this. And go ahead and place your garage door on all three sides, and now your roof is sealed. Go ahead and place some early game turrets underneath right here. Just like so. All right, coming to where our roof peaks are, you just want to do two windows, two triangle roofs, and then two triangle roofs on the back side, like so. Just like that. All right, coming back down, I will be using three side symmetry again. So on each corner of the Y gap, you want to place one square foundation, like so. Another one right here. Then you just want to go up one, two, three, four, five double frames. Same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Just like so. And it's going to be the same on all three sides, just like so. If you have that done, you come back on roof. Still using symmetry. Don't place windows in a roof. like so all right next you want to do is we can make our turret pods so you're gonna place two double frame or one double frame on each of these squares like so and you'll place a triangle on the back side with a square frame just like that starting at the triangle you want to come in with half holes all the way around like so looks like this so I like to leave it like this until I have my turrets ready and then I can come up here place my turrets like so the reason I do that is you will not be able to place a square until you place a triangle place your turrets wire it up and then you can seal these in that's what that looks like all right, final step for the base. Still using symmetry. We're gonna make our bedroom towers. So you wanna come over here. You're gonna place one. All right, if you're deciding to build the funnel wall, instead of having double door frames here, you want to place your singles here. Just like so. Two, three, four five six and seven double door frames all the way around to the top then you can place three square floors with a triangle on the back side 
three windows on the right, three windows on the left, like so. Double door frame in the middle. You can wall in this triangle, place it with the window, and then you can seal this in. So here's where you, one of your batteries will go, and it'll be the same on all three sides that you see. So it gives you three batteries up top, and you place a glass window in to secure it. Once you have that done, you want to head on top of your bedroom towers, and then just place your two wind turbines. Just like so. There you go. Now your main base is complete. All right, starting with our battlement ring, we'll be using three-sided symmetry again, but you will see this process twice as there's six sides. So starting out, you want to do two half walls here, two windows. Then you can go ahead and wall this back side completely in. Just like so. Coming here, you can go ahead and place your two roofs for your peaks, as well as your two double door frames. Then you can hop up here and place your two triangles with your two low walls. Then you can go ahead and cap this with a square and two triangles. Coming here, you're going to place two half walls here and one in the front. Place your windows on the left and the right, and then on top of these half walls. Then you can go ahead and place your roof for your peaks, as well as your double door frames to your left to your right. Like so. You can come up on your roof and should be able to place this triangle build out, hop on top, and completely seal this in. Just like so. Next, you just run around half walls all the way down again. Just like this. Come back, do your three windows up top with your two triangle roofs for your peaks. Window to your right and to your left with a double door frame. Half walls around, and you can go ahead and cap this, as well as go ahead and cap your bedroom peaks. And then finish it with two low walls. Heading out on this window, you can hop up on this half wall and go ahead and place two floor trials, as well as come on this other side and finish the build out over here. Coming back to this section, we'll hop down. We'll place a half wall and a single door for your bending machine here, as well as a half wall here. Place your double door frame here and a triangle to your left and one right here. And you can go ahead and seal this in. So this is what this looks like. And it's gonna mirror the same thing on all six sides. So we'll go over this one more time. So half walls here with two windows, wall this back side all the way down, just like so. We'll come back and place your two double door frames as well as your two roofs. Hop up onto your double door frames, place your two triangles with your two low walls, and go ahead and cap the top. Hopping back down, go ahead and place We'll make sure that these triangle foundations are here. If they're not, you can go ahead and place your three half walls with your three windows. Place your window to your left and to your right. Cap those two for your Patrico peaks. And then place your roof. Place your two double door frames here and here. Same thing here. And you can go ahead and seal off this roof. Coming up top. Just want to run half walls all the way down again. Your three windows. Two more on your left and right with the double door frame. Seal this in for your breach peaks with your two low walls. Cap your hop up in. Make sure you place triangle. Oh, excuse me. Then make sure you place your square. You hop out this window, same thing, hop up on your half walls, and you can go ahead and cap this completely off. Hopping back down, we're gonna finish up this last little section for the vending machine, the half wall and a single door. 
and a half all in two triangles. Then we can place our double door frame to seal. All right, each of these sections, I like to make a loot room. So you do one wall, four box loot room here, double door frame. So here you can place a window for your, for your battery or you can place a locker here. I like to use a single door as this will hide and keep raiders not knowing what's behind this door. Same thing on this side. There you go. All right, I'll show you how to put the barricades on real quick. Very simple. So going around, squares are kind of self-explanatory. Just place them in the middle of the squares, like so. So for these, what I like to do build up here is just two triangles on each side like so, which will enable you to place these. Just like this. You go ahead and delete your twig build up. So coming over here to these, you just do your simple three square and two triangle build out. And place the bottom right in the barricade to the bottom right triangle same thing bottom left to bottom left and then delete your build up and do the same thing on this side three squares and two triangle build up back right to your back right and back left to your back left and then delete the build up I will be building the funnel wall using three size symmetry. You'll see this twice as there is six sides. So we just want to wall this in around like so. Place your window here. You can go ahead and place your half wall on this side. Go ahead and get your brick trico feet going. Then coming around front, you will place your three single door frames. Then you can go ahead and seal all this in. Place your double door frame to your left and then for your bedroom. Then I like to do a double half wall build up so I can place my shelf and then seal this with the wall. And then I can place myself through both sides and then place your two windows. Place your embrasure for your patricos. I have to use the verticals here. And then place your double door frame here. And then you can go ahead and place your locker in bed. like that coming out you go ahead to the middle and you want to do a half wall low wall build up and then the same thing on this side then you can go ahead and seal this in just like so all right one more time we'll do it on this side your walls the window your single doors seal this all the way in get your double door frames double half wall build up with your shelf seal that in place yourself on both sides windows and place your embrasures go ahead and place your bed and lockers So, and place your double door frame. Here you come out, do the same thing over here. Place your half wall and a low wall. And then one more low wall over here. And then you can go ahead and seal all this in. 
like so. Now for your barricades, pretty simple. Just place them like this. I have to do a build out. Delete your build out. Just like so. Same thing on this side. That's your build out. Delete your build out. You may need to place a build out for this as well. And don't forget to delete your build out. There you have your barricades. Alright, seal the top of this. You can go ahead and place your double doors coming in on both sides. Give you that airlock. As well as you can go ahead and place your single doors swinging outwards. And you can go ahead and place your two chain link gates like so. Come in here, I like to place just a singular flame trap. Do that on both sides. Coming in your funnel, place your single door, swinging outwards again. And go ahead and place your shotgun traps. So, on this shelf right here, we'll place another single door. I like to place a flame trap and a shotgun trap here. So, and then here I like to place a double shotgun trap like this. Place your double frames for your garage doors and your double doors. Just like this. And don't forget to seal off your patrick row. And there you go. Now that funnel's complete, you can place your turrets. I like to place my turrets in the middle for best coverage, like so. is in just like that now for your furnace wall pretty simple I right, put my back against this wall look to my left try to get these as high as possible and as close as possible to this wall like so and then do the same thing on this side and then you should be able to place one perfectly in the middle like this just like that Real simple and easy. That is your funnel wall. Just want to say thank you so much for the recent support, and I hope you did enjoy this video. And I hope you do enjoy this base on your next wipe. Please make sure to check this base out on Builder Sanctuary and practice build before you take it on a real server. Um, also, you'll be able to know where deployers go, such as shotgun traps, turrets, batteries, lockers, all that good stuff. Thank you guys again, and I'll catch you in the next one.